beautiful people. Welcome to another Allo Moves. Happy Pride. My name is Lee Wakeford. Today we'll be doing a feel good flow all levels. If you're joining us with a friend, a loved one, a partner, feel free to set up those mats side by side, maybe looking at one another if you want to gaze into each other's beautiful eyes. This is just about feeling good, a little midday magic, right? Classes uh, for Pride Month are free on um, allomoves.com. Check that out. If you want to repeat today's class, we also have it on our YouTube page at Allo Moves. Check us out. Let's get this started, beautiful people. Child's pose, please. Nice wide through the knees, big toes to touch. All about just settling into our breath. All right, so as we get started, take a nice broad stretch forward. We'll spread out the palms, press into the fingertips, and feel that length all the way through the back of your spine. Right, all about breathing to begin with. Take a full inhale through the nose. Send that into the base of the belly. And just settle in. Right, we want to make a lot of room here in the hips today as we get things started. Right, so really drawing your attention and focus to that. Easy breaths in through the nose. For the first couple of cycles, feel free to send that breath either out through mouth if you just need a good let go sigh. Right, and then eventually start to guide your breath in and out through the nose so we can start to build a yummy little bit of heat here within the body itself. Good, about two more cycles. See if you can draw your attention to where you're feeling tension, yeah, right? And when you're in that place of tension, just see if you can acknowledge it, send the love there, and then keep things moving. Like I said, today is all about feeling good. Consider finding that and just moving with it. Fabulous. All right, on your next breath, gently shift into your tabletop, please. Squaring off hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're just gonna get that spine moving. Cow to cat, take a gentle inhale through the heart. Lift it up to the sky. As you exhale, round through your spine, chin to the chest. Good, right, all of the yumminess. If it feels nice to indulge, either forward or back, go for it. Good. Just honoring your practice where it is. If you're brand new to yoga, right, this is just about Connecting breath to movement, right? So feeling good is where we're at. Good, one more cycle here, please. God. And like I mentioned, today's gonna be a hippie kind of a day, very appropriate for this gorgeous rainbow mat that I have underneath me. Let's extend that right leg back behind, tuck the toes towards the back edge of your mat, and just say hello to the back of that knee, right? So a gentle little stretch here. Beautiful, from right there, the leg is gonna float off the floor as you tilt the chin down towards the ground. Bend the elbows into a light and easy press, and then squeeze the knee in towards the nose. Find that rounded spine once more. Good, energize through the back of the leg, keep that moving. Chin drops down, and then squeezing that knee in nice and tight towards the nose. Really find that length and that lift. We're using the leg as a nice little tilt lever all the way up towards the sky, activating into a little bit of glute love as well. Good, keep moving through that breath, you've got two. Fabulous, good, you've got one. Excellent, come back through neutral please. Leg stays lifted off the floor, lower the left elbow forearm down towards the ground, all right? As you bend the right knee, squeeze it in towards your right elbow. Lower it down towards your left knee, and then extend that leg all the way back. Good, come into this juicy circle of knee to elbow, back to the knee, and then pushing that all the way back. And we're just gonna move through that. Give that about two more in this direction. Good, and then from here, we're just gonna try and reverse that, right? So sending that leg back, dropping it down to the knee, and then sending it out towards the side. See how high you can get with that leg? So it really is about scooping into that rainbow-like press up to the sky. Good, and the next time that leg goes back, let's cross the knee all the way to the back of the left, coming into what I'll call a little cross-legged child's pose. Send your arms forward towards that right edge of the mat, push your hips back. Good, if this is enough, stay there. If the option to guide the hips all the way back in between the heels are available, come into a little gomukhasana seat, right? So a nice and easy tall spine. Hips are settled down in between the two heels. You can either stay nice and tall here through the lift or take your fold forward, chin towards the top of the knee. Good, and we'll just breathe into the yumminess of the hips here. Good. Let that breath continue to flow. Excellent. If you notice tension at the back of the neck, just release, right? Chin to the top knee. And then coming right back through center, please. We start at the very top. Good, from right here, easy cow to cat. Let that heart lift up towards the sky. 
Nice, now that we're into our second round, maybe you wanna get into a little bit more of an expressive and a juicy flow, right? Some hip circles, some head circles, some neck circles, it's all available to you. Good, I'm just gonna do one more of those. Good, and then let's get those arms and shoulders going, please. But first, left leg extends back, tuck the toes towards the mat, say hello to the back of that knee. Good, I'm gonna find my balance, float that leg off the floor, use that as a little tilting lever, go chin to the ground, elbows stay nice and tight, squeeze the knee towards the nose. Good, feel free to point the toes or flex the foot here, yeah, whatever feels yummy to you. But allow for those elbows to catch the chest. Good work, can we give that three more? Nice and long, give that two. Yes, y'all, awesome, give that one. Beautiful, and then just extending that leg back, coming back to neutral, please. Find a gentle little lower onto the right elbow and forearm, and then we'll bend that left knee towards the left elbow. Lower down towards the knee, push that leg back, and keep things moving. Easy extension back. The more of that rainbow-like scoop you get up towards the sky, the yummier you'll activate that outer hip. Good, two more this direction, please. Nice, on that next one, see if you can change direction. So we go up and then down, and then towards that elbow. Yeah, good, feeling that outer edge of the hip starting to say hello. Two. Good, one, nice job. Let's cross that leg behind the right, please. Easy little pushback. You can either go into this cross-legged child's pose. I right, have the option to sit all the way back into Gomukhasana as available. Let the hips settle down in between the two heels. Good, and then from right there, take a gentle fold forward. Again, you can either go chin to top knee, gentle relax. Right, and just notice where we're feeling a little bit sticky in those hips, yeah? Good. All right, just bringing the acknowledgement there, a nice big inhale breath. The exhale, let's go. Good, just enjoying that feel good, y'all. Gotta feel good here on this afternoon flow. Good, shifting back through tabletop, first time into our downward facing dog. Let's go, tuck those toes, send the hips all the way up and back. Good. And just take a little moment here to explore, right? So I'm gonna work those heels into a little walk. As you look back towards the feet, hip width distance is ideal. But we're gonna try to lengthen out through the arms and shoulders, give that a nice little squeeze under through the elbows. Good, stay spacious through the space between ear and shoulders. Give that another firm breath. Good, and then from here, pull forward into your plank pose, please. Top of the push-up. Feel the legs engaged, belly pulls into spine. Shoulders just floating over those wrists. You've got three breaths. Can we feel any longer, right? Crown of the head all the way back through the heels. If it feels nice to shift forward and back as I'm doing, feel free to explore. Right, maybe check in with your partner if you're flowing with somebody today. Good, and then a slight modification here on our A-flow, please. Knees are gonna come down to the floor. I'm gonna ripple, hips, belly, heart, and chin. Right, full on worm dance here. Good, as the chin touches down, either knees down or up, we're gonna go into a push-up straight from here. Press it up, downward facing dog, please. Good, right, so now let's put that together. Single breath flow, inhale plank. Knees down, ripple down on the exhale. Hips, belly, heart, and chin. And then go straight up into your plank from there. Push up, engage. If you need the knees on the floor, I'll give you that variation now. Inhale forward, knees come down, ripple. Hips, belly, heart, chin. You can keep the knees on the floor, push straight up through the arms, and then just push back into your downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time, please, plank. Keep it nice and smooth, ripple, roll. Feel good body rolls, yeah? All the way up, nice, into that downward facing dog. You go, please pause and breathe. Check back in, feet hip with distance, heels continue to ground. Good, we're gonna continue this hip exploration as the right leg lifts up to three-legged dog. Go ahead and bend that knee right away. Give it a nice big scoop. Checking in with either an ankle roll, knee roll, hip roll. Right, notice the shape of the shoulders. If you're tilting that right armpit open, that's fine. Right, just checking in with what feels good. And then aim to step the right foot to the outside of the right wrist. We're gonna go nice and broad with this one. Once you've got that foot to the outside edge, let's twist the right arm open. Variation of our dragonfly. Good, energy up through the fingertips, please. Nice and long, eyes can potentially reach up towards that hand. Good, from right there, hand comes down. You go right back into your three-legged dog. 
recommended is to straighten out that leg so you can really feel the height reaching all the way up towards the sky. Good, knee to the nose, easy step through in between the two hands, please. Take a moment just to find that low lunge, right? However you get that foot through is just fine. And then as you lower your left knee down to the ground, let's add the back bend. Arms are gonna scoop high, hooking the thumbs, take that gentle little lift open through the heart. All right now try not to jam into your lower back too, too much. It's all about energy lifting up towards the sky. Can you feel that yumness in that left hip? Good, pause to breathe here as you frame the right foot. Let's bring that back leg, tuck toes, leg steps closer, pyramid pose. Two straight legs, all 10 toes facing forward. I'm gonna keep melting my forehead down to the shin bone. Right, if this is way too much, you just bring two hands to that shin bone and give it a gentle press there instead. Try to find line from crown through tail. Good, and then from right there, an easy step, please, of the left foot to meet the right foot. Sit the bum low, reach the arms high, chair pose. Good, as you continue to reach, stay heavier in the heels, please. Light in the toes. You can bounce that just to find your space. Good, feel that reach up to the sky, screwing those two light bulbs in with the palms. Good, as you stand tall, grab your right wrist with your left hand. Give it a nice big side bend all the way up and over. Lengthen through the rib cage, and then we're gonna get a little fancy with this. Bend both knees, and then continue to ripple half circle down to your spine, chest, meeting thighs. Good, our halfway lift prepares. Find that length, and then step it back into your plank pose and continue through the flow we've already set up. Knees down to the floor. Ripple your hips, your belly, your heart, and your chin. Go into the push-up plank from here. Back into that downward facing dog. That's it, let's go left leg. Up to the sky, nice big bend, breathing into the space. Good, moving through this side with the same amount of care and love. Checking in, ankle, knee, hip, you're breathing. Notice the tilt in the shoulders. And then let's go wide step, left foot to the outside of the left wrist. Good, easy twist open. Good, length all the way up towards the fingertips. Right, maybe you look up towards the sky. Good, these fingertips of mine are always wiggling, right? Just that energy shining up towards the ceiling. Good, bring that hand down, please. Back into your three-legged. The left leg sweeps up straight. Recommended, feel that length. And then knee to nose, easy step with the foot in between the two hands. Good, pause here. And then lower that right knee down towards the floor. Take a scoop up, hook the thumbs. Find that back bend, breathing. There's a lot of room in that right hip, yeah? Nice and easy lift here. If the arms can squeeze back more, go for it. Notice the breath. Good, we frame the left foot, the back foot hops in closer. You find your pyramid pose, please, all 10 toes face forward. Allow for those hips to pull back. Again, the forehead melt to the shin bone. Again, if you need some love, we can go hands to the shin bone for a light little press, yeah? Good, back foot steps to meet the front. Sweep the arms high, sit the bum low, chair pose. Check in with all the yumminess, heels down. Booty heavy, toes light. There, stand up tall please, grab the left wrist with the right hand. Find that side bend, and then soft little baby bend in the knees as you continue to ripple that chest all the way down towards the thighs, right? Now we're dancing, take that halfway lift. Good, from right here, easy step back. You can hop if you'd like. Then I'm gonna go knees, hips, belly, heart, chin. Now we're into the flow, y'all. Push up, down dog, a little quicker. Right leg high, bend, breathe. Step it wide, outside of the wrist. Twist it open, right arm to the sky. Bring it down, back to three-legged dog. Right leg reaches. Good, footsteps in between. Lower back knee, reach the arms high, hook the thumbs. Nice, big back bend. Frame the foot, pyramid pose. Back toes, step in closer. Good, firm right there, easy step, left to right, chair pose please. Reach it up, sit low. Stand tall, grab that right wrist, side bend, move, bend, ripple, fold. Good job, halfway lift. Easy step or hop, knees down to the floor, ripple, hips, belly, heart, chin. Good, yes, push up plank, down dog, left leg lifts, bends. Wide step, twist her open. Bring her down, send it back, please. Three-legged reach. In between, right knee lowers, back bend breathing. Good, frame, step it into that pyramid pose. Right foot steps to left, chair pose, sit low, reach high. Fire up, grab the left wrist, side bend, side ripple, let's go. One more time, each side, halfway lift. Option to go, jump back, knees down, hips 
belly, heart, chin. Keep it funky. Push up, press. Down dog. Right leg. Good. Feel free to move here at your pace if that feels good, yes? I'm going to keep grooving with the soundtrack. Here we go. Send it back. Three-legged. Step right through. Back knee down. Back bend. Breathe it. Frame. You've got your pyramid stretch. Easy step, left to right, chair pose. Good, stand tall, grab the right. Big bend, ripple down. We got one more round, good, halfway. Easy hop, jump step, knees ripple, please. Good, push up into that down dog and then send that left leg up. Last round. Notice how the breath wants to move. Let it. This is all about the fire. Three-legged left high. Bring it through for the step. Back knee down. Inhale for the back bend. Good. Exhale as you find that pyramid pose. Good. Light and easy step, please. Right to left. Chair as you sit low, reach high. Last one. Reach it high. Grab the left wrist. Side bend. Ripple. Roll. Halfway lift. Good. Last funky little move through your flow, please. Hopping knees, hips, belly, heart, and chin. Good job. Push up two. Plank, downward facing dog. We breathe. Notice the breath. Allow for those heels to ground down a little bit firmer. Good, y'all. We pull forward into plank pose, please. Yeah, just a little bit of upper body strengthening while we're at it. Opposite hand to shoulder, give it a tap. Opposite hand to shoulder, give it a tap. Lower down onto one elbow, the other. Good, push back into your plank and then move into your downward facing dog. We're flowing with partners today. Maybe we go for a little high five, depending on where you are, right? Little tap, high five. Little tap, high five. Lower down, forearms. Back into plank. Find that downward facing press. You can do this with knees on the floor as well, yeah? Looks like so. Plank, knees down. Tap or high five. Lower down. Gently press it back up into that downward facing dog. One last time, please. Plank forward. Opposite shoulder tap or a little high five. Good. Find that space all the way down. Good. And then from right there, everybody, downward facing press. Send that all the way into your home base. Two breaths. Good. Wide knees. Child's pose. Revisit. Big push back. Nice job. Uh, all right, while we're here and catching our breath, let's give those shoulders a little bit of love. Right arm threads underneath. Right shoulder's gonna rest in front of that left knee. See by crawling the fingertips forward through the left hand. And as I press into those fingertips, I'm just gonna let the heart curl open. Now notice that my hips lift off of my heels, yeah? I'm gonna see if there's a little bit more space by pushing them back. This is not comfortable in the neck space. I feel free to keep that left hand a little bit closer for support, okay? How's the breath? Feeling good? Nice. Good. Switch. Right forward. Left comes under. See about getting that shoulder fairly close in front of the right knee. Good. Again, you can press into the fingertips of that right hand. Maybe the hips reach back. Give that a little bit more space. Nice, firm, full breaths. Good. All right, just noticing where the body needs a little bit more love. All right, easing into it. And then coming right on back through tabletop neutral, please. Square those knees off, bring the hands underneath your shoulders. And then from here, everybody, fingertips are gonna spin in, elbows are gonna spin out. Okay, last little bit of love here through the chest. I'm gonna drop my chin down to the floor. Scoop it forward like you would your cow pose. And then round your hips all the way back towards your heels. And we're just gonna get that tsunami wave rolling. Chin down, chest up, hips back. Good. Chin down, chest up, hips back. Good. Really moving through all of that spinal love. I'm getting a little bit of torso. I'm getting a little bit of pectoral, getting a lot of shoulder. Good, we'll do that one more time. Good, and then go right into the fire of our B flow, please. Tuck the toes, down dog. Come on back. All right. All right, so building this one in with a little bit of a dance, right, taking the flow for the most part out of it, right, just that vinyasa section. 
Good, right, so that right leg lifts to the sky once more. You choose if you want to bend or straighten that leg, right? This is ultimately just to set us up, footsteps in between the two hands. Find that low lunge. Good, fire up knee over ankle bone, long and strong back leg, please, and then arms go up to the sky for your crescent. Good, once we got that crescent, we're gonna find that back bend once more, okay? But I'm gonna option for a nice big cactus in the arms. And if the option to bend that back knee to the floor is available, go ahead and lower, find that nice little lift. Heart is up towards the sky. Pride month, open hearts. Good, we lift it all the way up, back into your crescent lunge, please. Nice, and from right here, the idea is to start leaning forward into that power lunge. Good, and if it's available to move into your warrior three here for the balance, we're gonna kick that back leg off of the floor, shift and lift into the right leg. See if you can energize here. Right, maybe all five toes of that left foot points down. Keep pushing the ceiling away with your palms. Stay breathing. Good, can both legs stay nice and strong? Good, y'all. Little bit of power practice here, please. Palms to prayer, small little curtsy. Left knee comes to the back of the right knee. If you wobble, embrace. Good, try for that warrior three again. Three times. Bend it in. Two times. You got this, nice. One time, please. Fabulous, bring that back into your curtsy. Good, keep the knee where it is. Both 10 fingertips are gonna drop down to the floor. Good, our revolving half moon police. My right arm is gonna spin to the sky and my left leg is gonna reach back. Love the fire in that right leg. Keep energizing, keep lifting and lengthening through the right side, you got this. Breathe through love. If we stumble and fall, give it a good giggle. Yeah, try again. Nice job. Stepping the left foot to the back of your mat, we're gonna reverse our crescent lunge, meaning toes go back as I lift the chest upright. Right hand goes to the back of the left leg. Left fingertips go up towards the sky. Now she's a tricky one, yeah? Pretzeling that body into shape to see if you can find the space. And then give it a joyful little windmill into your warrior two. Everything presses out, lengthen into that right knee. All right, so we're gonna try to keep this nice and firm, pressing down through the fingertips, pushing down through that left pinky toe. Good. All right, same as our first round. We're gonna keep this first one low and slow, and then we'll get the spice going. Flip the right palm. Take an easy reverse, please. Good, beautiful. And then from there, five points of your star is gonna lift you all the way open, face the edge of the mat, and then take a forward fold from here. Good, everything lengthens over. Find some length through the back of that body. Good, right, we started on the right leg. So to finish, bend the right knee, come into a low skandasana. Right, if that right heel comes off the floor, totally fine. Right, the idea here is just to sit into what feels like a little Spider-Man pose, yeah? Good, we're gonna flip this whole thing to now face the backside or the other side of our mat. Come into your low lunge from here, bending into the left knee. Back heel continues to ground. Beautiful, and then from here, left leg sweeps back into your three-legged dog. Find that height all the way up, please. Good, find your length. Now here we've got an option to add our vinyasa flow, which is just going to be a left ankle over right, moving through a light and easy little chaturanga, flipping over the big toes, and then pressing back into your downward facing dog. You'll see this is a non-stop flow. You've got the option to cut that out. I'll show you both. Let's build this on the left, please. Left leg lifts. All right, so know that when you face the side of the mat, left leg will be the leading leg. Knee to nose, step the foot in between the two hands. Good. Feel the power in the legs and then lift it up, crescent. Arms are gonna frame that head. Break the heart open. Option the back knee down. If you've got that higher lift through your heart, go for it. Everything energizes up. Nice, back to the crescent. Framing and lifting, power up your lunge. And then if the option of balance is there, let's go, fly. Warrior three. Send that all the way back. God, pause and breathe. And I'm giving you a sloppy little back foot, so let's energize. Toes down towards the mat. Heel energizes, long spine. Keep that balance, prayer palms, right knee curtsies behind the left. Move in and out of that three times. Ooh, whoa, whoa, find your balance. Good, ha ha ha, fight for it. Good, one more. Left leg says, what's up? Good, bring that all the way into your tiny little curtsy, please. 
we pause and hold, okay, from right here, all 10 fingertips to the floor, revolving half moon, left arm goes high, and then the right leg's gonna reach back. See if you can keep the energy through that heel. How are we doing on that left side, y'all? Stay strong. Good, toes reach all the way to the back of the mat. Reverse your crescent lunge, yes? That left arm goes to the back of the right leg. That right arm reaches up and back. Good, I'm all the way over here. <laughs> nice. Warrior two is a nice spiral, yeah? Press it out. Bend and sink in towards that knee and just feeling yummy all the way. Good, I'm gonna flip my left palm, reverse it. Find the five points of a star. All 10 toes turn forward. Fold it all the way forward. Find a solid release. Good, let the head, neck, shoulders be heavy here. Wrapping up our left side, but going left side, skandasana, bending into the left knee, flexing the toes to the right. All right, so she's gonna get spicy here, yeah? So let's get this going. Walk hands over towards the right foot. Good, right leg sweeps back, three-legged. Option to move through your flow. I'm gonna go with the one-legged here. Chaturanga, upward facing flip, downward facing press. Right leg is still in charge, let's go. Right leg, knee to nose, step through. Crescent lunge. Break that heart open and bend into the back knee. Good, lift it up for the balance. Move into that power push, back leg comes off. Good, prayer to squat three times. Good, prayer to squat two times. Good, prayer to squat one time. Fingertips to the floor, revolving half moon. Right arm is up to the sky, please. Reach that left foot to the back of your mat. Flip and reverse the crescent. Good, find your warrior two, big old windmill. Settling in, five points of your star. Inhale, breath. Exhale to fold that forward. Nice job, little skandasana squat. Spider-Man over one way. Walk it over towards the left. Optional flow, left leg reaches back. Three-legged, maybe. Chaturanga up into down. Let's go, left leg up. Step it on through. Good, high crescent. Big old back bend, break into it, back knee comes down. Nice breath, inhale for the lift. Power it up into power lunge or that flying warrior three. Let's see, little curtsies, prayer, three. Little curtsy prayer, two. Little curtsy prayer, one. This goes revolve, uh, half moon, yes, left arm up to the sky. Good, reach that back, step that back. Reversing that crescent. Nice, warrior two, nice big windmill. Good, flip and reverse. Good, five points of a star opens you up. Big dive sends you forward. Skandasana up and over, left knee bends, flex the toes. Good job, and we move that over towards the right leg, please. Send that right leg all the way up towards the sky, three-legged, and let's wrap this up. One last little flow, chaturanga. Upward facing lift. Nice, downward facing press. Good job, y'all. Figuring out just what it feels good like here. Hang out in this spot. Find your breath. Good. Gonna take this into a little bit of a power party. If you need the rest, you take the rest. If you're ready to go with me, here we go. Down dog, right knee to left elbow. Slide it down to tap the floor. Bring it back, down dog. Down dog, left knee to the right elbow. Take it down to tap the floor. Bring it back, down dog. Keep moving, we cross, we lower. We lift and we press back. We cross, we lower. We lift and we press back. You got it, cross and lower. Lift, press back, come on, cross and lower. Four more, here we go, that's four. Up, lift. Press back, you got it, three. Tap, really pull that forward, you got two. Good, tap, come on, last one. Squeeze and lower, tap, press, child's pose. Woo. Good job. Catching that breath here. Nice job. But easily walk hands to groin, knees stay wide, please. We're gonna sit those heels down onto the hips and then just work it out. Right hand goes to the back of your mat. Dancing Campbell, I'm gonna arch my hips high and reach that left arm all the way overhead. Good, feel that stretch from fingertips through the front of the left hip, please. 
God, right? This is one of my best feeling postures. Body always appreciative to stretch out those hips. God. Other side, please. Hips down. Give that a nice big reach all the way up and back. We lift and lengthen through that high hip. Awesome. God, let the sweat drip. Let the sweat drip. Nice, easy release through center, please. Consider both hands behind you. And then from right here, we're just gonna lean that back ever so slightly, right? This is quite intense in the top of the quads, right? So if more of a bend here is accessible, consider dropping down to both elbows, right? If that's too much, I'm gonna keep you on your hands and just give you the option of lifting your bum off of your heels, right? But try to create that nice big pull breath release through the front of the hips, back of the body. Of course, my friends that want to go all the way down, go ahead, get fabulous with it. Sweep it all the way back. Shoulders on the ground. If this bothers the lower back, please stay a little bit higher, okay? Good. The heels are just gently to the outside of the bum cheeks, y'all. God, engage the core. Help yourself back. I'm gonna gently just pull those elbows in and under. Basically reverse the action. Good, push back onto the hands. Good job, y'all. We're gonna take a seat, swing the legs around. Let me make sure this front body is nice and happy, okay? So as I sit tall, compose myself, wipe away the sweats. We'll give it a gentle hug through the front of the shin bones. Good, this is all about long spine and strong core, okay? Take a moment just to feel into all of the jams. Fabulous, okay? I'm gonna give you the modified version of this next series first, and then we'll move into the tougher version of it, okay? Good, so heels stay on the floor nice and grounded. The toes are gonna curl up towards the desk sky. We're just gonna give you a nice little grip of the hands like so, right? Imagine this is your satellite that's gonna move back and forward. From right here, right elbow, it's gonna touch the floor behind. I'm gonna lean back, give it a tap, okay? And then as I come all the way back up, I'm gonna bring that left knee in towards the left elbow, right? This is modified version. If you are still having trouble here, you can keep that left hand behind your head, right? Just as an element of support, okay? For my friends who wanna add a little bit more, we're gonna move into the full high boat, low boat variation. So I'm gonna reach that out and then bring it in. Good, reach that out. Bring it in. If you want more, cross that right elbow all the way to the left knee. Good, and you've got that full spiral of your spine. Eight, please. Good, seven. Use that control. Six, you got it. Five, Hip. and four. Come on, obliques, three. Good, two. She has yes, nail good, awesome, last one. Good, Bhattakanasana, seat please. Take a gentle little soles of the feet together. Lift out of that lower spine. Go ahead and see if you can pull yourself forward. All right, now this one is always a yummy release for me there into the lower body, lower hips. All right, I'm a very maneuverable practice kind of a guy, right? The dance never stops, even within the stillness and the breath, right? Little wiggles just to kind of find more pockets of expression. Good, let's head up the other side, please. Same thing, heels down, toes up. I'm gonna create that little satellite grip with the hands. If you're taking the version of heels down, it's left elbow down to the floor, right? And then we're just gonna bring that up for a little twist into the right knee. Good. If you're ready to go high, low with me, let's go high, low, right? Twisting. Good, slower is better on this one, right? Keep it nice and yummy. If you want to give a pretty point to toe, go for a pretty point to toe. Good. If this is showing up in your neck, consider one hand behind the head. Yeah, it looks like so. Five. Good, perfect time to encourage your partner, right? To keep things moving. Three, good. And two, solid, y'all. Nice, last one, please. Good, bring that up to your seat, please, Baddha Konasana. Oh, that last one got me. Good, but this time, see if you can lift all the way up through the spine. Let the elbows slide into your inner thighs instead. Let's grab hold of those shin bones and just press down. Okay, we want to get those outer hips nice and yummy. We've got one more standing series to go. Good. But before we do, 
Take a joyful little roll onto your back. Grab your happy baby. Everything opens up. Pull down nice and deep. Go now, tight, 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 yeah? See if you can release head, neck, and shoulders down to the floor. You've got the option to grab big toes with a pointer and a thumb. Let this baby be blissful, yeah? Just happy little sways from side to side. Anything that feels yum here. Good, and then as we hug the knees back in towards the chest, y'all, right? Allow for the gentle rocking and the rolling of the spine. I would ultimately love for us to come all the way back onto our feet, right? So if you wanna get fancy with it and find your chair pose, be my guest, all right? Just enough momentum to lift, shift, rock and roll you. That was a fail, but we're good, hips go low. Not a fail, just an opportunity to learn, right? Heels sit back, toes nice and light. Awesome, okay, hips stay the focus, y'all. We're just gonna lift all the way up, please. Allow for the right ankle to cross over the left thigh. Melt the palms down into the heart center. Good, if this is where this stops, that's where it stops. Have the option to lower down, bending into the knees, stretching into that little figure four is an option, we go for that. Elbow to the top of the knee, elbow to the ankle bone. All right, that's as far as I'm interested in going today. For my advanced yogis, you can go fingertips to the floor. You can transition into your balance, right? But just make sure that you're grabbing onto that tricep with the five toes of the right foot. Right, these hips need love today, love, love, love. Good, if you're flying, gently bring yourself back. Right, we're gonna try to reverse the action, come right on back, hands to heart center. Give it a little float and then just extend the right foot crossing the front of the left ankle bone. Okay, arms reach high, please. You're gonna grab hold here of the left wrist and give yourself a gentle little pull away from that right side. See if you can maintain your balance. Yeah, all right, so ideally the right foot is in the front at this point in time. All right, so as we lift everything up, consider the forward fold from here, still fighting for that balance and that squeeze into the inner thighs. Good. Too much here in that back hamstring. You can go hands to the shin bone like we did before in the pyramid pose. And then let's see about shifting into our standing splits from here. Right foot stays, left leg lifts up to the sky. All right, we are all the way onto that far edge side of the mat. It's all good. Go ahead and give your best dancer split here. If that means opening up the hip and letting the forehead bend in towards the shin bone, go for it. Good, y'all. Deep curtsy, please. The knee comes all the way to the outside edge of your right ankle bone. We're gonna bring this all the way down to our seat, okay? So as you sit your bum down, wrap and fold, either with a hug or with that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Right hand behind you, lift and spiral that spine. And try to really lift and lengthen out through the lower back. Good. And as we rotate back to front, goal is to shift forward into this right shin bone, okay? So I'm gonna set up my pigeon pose by lifting and shifting, sending that left leg back, and then creating that fold of heel to groin, all right? So ultimately just feeling that lift through the heart. Uncurl the back toes. You can either rest forehead on top of hands, or you can send two arms forward, pressing into the palms. Try just noticing where tension lives here. Ideally that forehead melts down in between the two hands. Good, full deep breaths. A little glamorous aerial mermaid on the rocks here. Walk your hands back towards your hips, please. Just see about lifting that spine upright, looking up towards the sky, and then just favoring your right bum cheek, please. We're gonna sit this over onto the one side, bend that left knee just to come in closer towards the foot, all right? Right hand back and behind you, and much like we did before in our dancing camel, we're just gonna get fancy with those hips, press them all the way up towards the sky. Good, rainbow is a bit of a theme if you haven't picked up on that yet. Colors of the rainbow, y'all. Hmm. Good. All right, 
Great. Energy back down towards the floor, please. Anticipate making your way into your downward facing dog. From here, left leg back, easy step. Good, and just settle into that space. Good. Allow for that right leg to lift up to the sky. And if the option of flipping your dog is available to you, let that foot drop all the way towards that left side of the mat. We keep that idea of rainbowing the chest open and reaching the right arm overhead. As you come back, really try to tilt and lift that leg nice and high, barreling back the way that you came. Uh, right foot steps in between the two hands, left foot steps to join it, please. Top of your mat, take a halfway lift. As we forward fold, consider grabbing hold of your two big toes, pointer and thumb, and then just pull those elbows sideways. Yeah, best part of a little 15 minutes lunchtime flow to get that heart rate up, break the sweat, and then set yourself up for the rest of the day by just loving, creating some length, making some room and time to breathe. Fabulous. Let go of the big toes, please. Stack the vertebrae as you roll up through the spine from all the way up through standing. Good. And then from right here, a light and easy cross of left ankle over right thigh. Good. The palms come together in prayer. Good. Those elbows sink down. You've got the option of tapping. Elbow to knee, elbow to ankle bone. My advanced yogis that want to go into balance practice, fingertips down. Right, this is a tough one for me also, right? If you like to move into that shift, make sure that the toes are hooked in and around the outer right tricep. You can place your hands slightly forward, lift that back heel off the floor, keep bending the knees, right? And maybe just hop and then kick your bum with that right heel. Good, hip is the focus, okay? Gently return with focus. See if you can bring that right back up to your standing variation. Good, 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 good. And then as you stand tall, sliding the left foot across the front of the right foot. We'll reach up, grab hold of that right wrist and pull yourself over towards the left side. Good, we lift to lengthen. Take your forward fold from here. Everything lengthens up and over. Nice, long, flat spine. See about the forehead melting down to the shin bone. Is there any tension left through the back of the neck? Maybe just giving that a little nod or a shake. And then the front foot is the left foot here, y'all. So that's gonna stay. Move into your splits as the right leg reaches up towards the sky. Right now you're welcome to work this parallel down to the floor, right? Or yank that hip open. Not very specific here on today's practice, right? Feel good, feel good, feel good. That is all that matters. And then let's go right knee behind the left. You're gonna slide that all the way down. Good, and then find your seat. Same thing here, we twist it out, please. Right elbow to the outside. And as we're coming into the come down of the practice, you're welcome to start practicing with a softer focus, right, or closed eyes. Yeah, but really reestablish that relationship with your breath. Good. And as we rotate back to front, we're gonna make this left shin bone the star by shifting forward into that pigeon setup, sending the right leg straight back, right? And then you should be pretty well aimed here for heel into groin, right? Or if you're working shin bone parallel to the front, take that longer stretch and fold forward. Find hands under forehead, fists under forehead, gently resting on elbows, all of that's valid. Keep the breath into that outer left hip. Uh, back of the neck, nice and release, please. Full breath. Good, mermaid time, take it on back. We lift that heart up and open. Good. Toss those locks in the breeze. Good. Beautiful, and then just taking a gentle drop right down on towards that left seat. 
Good. All right. And then from right there, swinging that right leg all the way around. No, let's just push it back. Let's push back right here. Downward facing dog. I think I'm leaving out something, but it's all good. <laughs> the brain fart's part of the midday practice. Let's send that left leg up towards the sky, please. Nice big bend and breath up at the top. Good. And then consider flipping the dog up and over, right? It falls off towards the one side. You send that gentle journey up. We'll make it a bonus round question if anyone can pick up on what I just left out. <laughs> Sending you some aloe swag. <laughs> Good. Lifting all the way up and back. Don't take me up on that promise. Good. <sighs> ah, you, Liz, everybody. Oh, I remember. It's rainbow time. Good. Bring it on back, please. Left knee squeezes forward. Right knee bends behind you. That's it, can't not do this, right? Just that gentle little pop up and high. <sighs> can't have enough rainbows. Awesome. Good, and that's a sweet and sneaky little mistake that leads us right to taking our seats, swinging the legs straight out in front of us, please. Taking your version of a seated forward fold. Super tight in the hamstrings back here. Even after that practice, I'm gonna keep my knees a little bit bent, touch the sky. See about reaching forward and lengthening, right? Creases of the wrists onto the top of the toes and then lengthening forward. And just tapping into your feel good meter. Right, this is my reason for practice. Right, is to come into a space just to connect with my breath and my body and the flow and right, always dancing. roll down through your spine please we did do a lot of front body opening you're welcome to set up for your wheel pose here right I'm gonna set us up for our bridge pose nice and close with the heels towards the bum fingertips within reach yeah so that we can just push those hips up towards the sky good the option to stretch out the shoulders by interlacing the knuckles sending them towards the heels and then tucking the shoulders all the way in and under good and with this one Buddha belly breath yeah all the way up towards the sky Easy breath releases. Good, friends in the wheel. I'm mindful of coming down through the crown of the head, gently tucking the chin to the chest and then coming down from there. Friends in the bridge, gently making space with the hands, please. Rolling down through the spine and then just inviting that right leg to drape all the way across the body, spinal twist. All right, you can take arms out towards the sides, T-shape. Right, double knee, single knee, all good. Good, y'all. Right, gently switching sides, please. Long for that left to wrap over the right. Consider that relationship between left shoulder and left knee, right? So everything reaches out towards the sides. And as we move back through center, checking in with that happiest of babes, please. You can grab big toes here with pointer and thumb, right? Pulling down, <sighs> letting those shoulders stay nice and easy. Good, y'all, in practice, it would not be complete without our final rest, right? Master posture of Shavasana, that place in which we receive all of the gifts, right? From the efforts and the joy that we put into the practice. Whatever that looks like to you, straight legs, palms out, soles of the feet together, knees open wide, comfort is what's most important, feel good, it's what's most important, right? So as you extend those heels out, right? Or find that final rest, potential tuck of the shoulders in and under, palms stay open. God, we close the eyes. And find your breath. to 
tuning into the breath, right, is a challenging practice. See if you can find something representing right, a constant white noise or repetitive sound within your space. And it's the practice of focusing without effort. The attention drifts, just bring it right back to it. Good. And a reminder that this is accessible and available to you throughout every moment of your day. Right? So the ability to just find that feeling good place Tapping into it and reactivating it with a single breath, a single thought of something that brings you joy. Right? That sends ripples on the ocean of your feelings. God. And with that little light of brightness, we bring some movement back into the fingers, the toes, the wrists. You allow for the breath to feel right, like the source that is filling and connecting you to your source. Feel free to stay here in your Shavasana for a little while longer as we're wrapping up class. Right now I'm gonna bring myself up to an upright seat. You're welcome to join me. A little roll over towards one side and then just the option to gently help yourself up to an upright seat. And keep it soft eye focus. The easy planting of the palms together at the heart center. And just feeling the ease of this moment. Bowing our heads as we connect to all that is light, love, ease, and feeling good available to you in the here and now always we close up this practice as we say together namaste